What is up, y'all? It is, uh, it's an early one here this morning. I'm excited, man. I've been waiting to do another video like this. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Today, we are going in the trenches, you and me. We're gonna be hitting up some local yard sales. I looked it up. There's actually quite a few yard sales around us today. There's some community ones. They start in about 30-ish minutes. As I said, we're gonna be hitting up some yard sales. We're gonna be beating them up, looking for some steals, looking for some deals. I'm gonna try to show off some expert haggling. Yard sales, they're just fun, man. Most of the time when these people have yard sales, they just wanna get rid of stuff. So they have a lot of just random stuff. You literally never know what they could have. And a lot of the times it's super super cheap you get some really really good deals we're gonna be hitting up as many of these yard sales as we can i have a whopping grand total of twenty dollars actually i have twenty one dollars it's literally all the cash in my wallet who the heck carries cash anymore man but with this twenty dollars or i guess twenty one dollars we're gonna be bopping sale to sale and just trying to find some fishing deals whether it's rods reels lures base just any fishing equipment we can find i'm gonna try man to use this twenty dollars to the best of my ability and then we are going to take whatever gear we get out to the water here today we're gonna put it to the test whether it's a rod reel lures we're gonna go out and try to catch some fish on it as i said the stuff at yard sales is usually super cheap people are just getting rid of stuff sometimes they don't even really know the true value of the products they have so we can honestly like find some crazy good deals i think this is going to be a lot of fun man if you guys like this idea and if you guys want to see more videos like this i'm thinking like every weekend in the summer from now on i'm gonna try to hit up these yard sales every single week so definitely man if you're digging this make sure to go down there smack the crap out of that thumbs up button also really quick man i just gotta say thank you guys so much we are skirting our way to 400 000 subscribers every time i say that man it just does not feel real that number is just insane so if you are new to the channel or if you do enjoy my videos but you have not already please make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss a video 400k we're on your butt let me stop talking man let's not waste any time here let's get to this first yard sale it's like 20 something minutes away i'll put up a screenshot real quick right here this is a multi-family yard sale it's starting at 8 a.m so yeah we gotta go they say lots of fishing gear anchors to zebco plus dvd glassware cookbooks just those words right there man lots of fishing gear it said anchors too man i don't know anchor only fishing challenge let me stop talking let's get over there i've never really been to a yard sale like right when it opens either i don't know how many people actually go to these things i want to be that weird dude talking to himself so hopefully some other people are around not hopefully buying fishing stuff but yeah man let's get to this first sale let's get this video started here today all right, we were about to pull up here on the very first sale. It's like up here on the side of the road. I don't know if you could see that or not. It's like up there, sort of-ish. Pulled off like right next to this corn field. Is that corn? If you guys have not seen my first yard sale fishing challenge, I'll leave the link down in the description below. That was a couple years ago, but we actually found some really, really cool stuff for cheap. I think we got a rod and reel and we got a really, really cool tackle box. If I can find a tackle box, I mean, that could be a little treasure chest. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. I think I actually see some rods poking out here too. I don't know, man. We're going to try to stretch this 20, I guess $21 out. Skirt. All right. Oh yeah. Oh dude, there's people looking at the fishing rods already. No. Oh my God. They have so many fishing. Okay. This is actually, hold on. This is crazy. Oh, can't forget our cash. All right, dude, this freaking buff that I have on, this thing smells like straight gulp. Oh my gosh, right. Let's not get run over. Holy crap. That is a lot of fishing rods. Sounds good, yep. Holy <laughs> crap. Dude. There's literally so many rods. All right. Let's see if there's anything good here. Holy crap. All right. Just take one out and look at it. $20. What the heck is this? Ryobi is some like vintage crap. Dang, dude, this might be an expensive place. $20. I mean, we were talking literally buckets on buckets. This is shiny. How's it going, man? Good, how about you? Hmm. Okay. This looks like some better stuff right here. What do we got here? Roddy Hunter. Shiny reel. Ooh. That's low-key fire right there. Here's a bait castle. Super, super old. Daiwa US10G. It's on a Bass Pro Shops rod, too. I just, dude, I don't know if any of this stuff actually. I feel like they're going to be taxing, man. If you have this many rods and reels, you know, at like a yard sale like this, you have to know the price. I mean, let's see. I see 40 bucks right here. What is this for? Just the rod. What is this? 10 Baymaster. This is like a boat rod, dude. That thing is solid. Okay, this might be the boat rod section. See some of these prices over here. These look like more ultralight-ish kind of combos and stuff. So this, see, there's 15 one flying around. 15 for what? Hello? Oh boy. Shakespeare LX3. I feel like this reel is just not 
It's not it, Chief. How much is their price on this? Shakespeare Synergy G3 original. Was oh, this like the surf rod bucket? I mean, I just can't believe how many rods and reels. Oh, this is a surf rod. Well, I guess that both these are surf rod buckets. Yeah, there's a bunch of surf rods. So this section over here looks like this is like his prime real estate section that he kind of has like to lure people in with the newer looking shinier reels. What is this? Eagle Claw. Oh, dude, that is like Shakespeare's sturdy stick. Excuse me. This thing right here definitely looks usable, too. What is this? Mantis? Shakespeare Mantis combo? It's a weird... That, yeah, that's how you tell. It's like old. It's got the bottom drag. It's got the weird freaking... Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? Well, that does not feel too good. I always like the ugly sticks, but like... I don't know, dude. Some of these... Some of these reels do not... Like, they're just not it. Every time I got an ugly stick combo, the reels kind of go. But the rods are solid, man. Hmm. I wouldn't mind picking up just the stick. I'd probably not take the reel. Sheesh. Jeep is freaking flying, dude. Yeah, I probably wouldn't take any of these reels right here. I don't know. Let's go look. Hmm. Oh, we got some bait casters over here. What is this? Oh, my gosh. That is, like, super cool. Holy crap. This is, like, vintage Shimano Band Tam 100. Dude, it has like a lion crest engraved on the side. That is freaking sick. I'm not sure if this works. Daiwa Procaster. That is on a Mitchell Classic 300 series. Dude, this is interesting. It has like a uh, button for flipping. I always thought it was funny when they have like these butt rod things. Ugly sticks on ugly sticks. What is over here? More bait casters. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, bro. Look out. Dude, I just want to buy all these just to have them. Vintage Abu Garcia MX200. Oh, that does not feel... Yeah, I don't think that thing works. Now that is a vintage spinning reel right there. What is this? Ryobi Catcher 3M. Oh, we got some nets. Giant bobber container. Spinners. Bucktails. Oh my god, so many bucktails. Top water. Jeez. Giant freaking jitterbug. Yeah, that's some cool stuff, man. Pretty cool lures. There's one in there that's very rare. Yeah? Yes. Actually, a couple, but uh, yeah, I actually watched the assembly 60 years ago. What's up, old there, buddy? How's it going, man? You right. Mike, right? Oh, yeah, how's it going? Man? It's a freak fish. A freak fish? Can I touch it? Sure. I don't know. Um, they're selling online for like uh, ten dollars, right? Yeah. But I know for sh for a fact that that's the original one because my wow. uncle was a designer. So you watched them make this sixty years ago? Yeah. Holy crap! They're assembling them in his basement. Oh wow! Yeah, him, my my great uncle, my godfather, and his sister. Did you ever catch anything on those? Oh yeah, we used to catch um uh, pike, uh, walleye. Oh wow! Right. Stuff like that, all up in uh, northern Canada. But what they were designed for was catching the now extinct Lake Erie blue uh, blue pike. Forty years old. That rabble rouser. Yeah. Because I bought it up in New England. Oh wow. <laughs> when I was working up there. It's musky size. Musky jitterbug. Yeah. Or or uh, they also use it out here for stripers. Oh really? Oh, that would actually be pretty cool. I was looking. What the heck is this thing? Uh, that's a, that's basically a Zara also. Dangle another one, that one they steal that one. <laughs> How much food you want for these three? Oh lord. <laughs> you picked all through them to get them, Dave? Six sound good? Six bucks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. I'll just take a ten, you can keep that. Okay. Thank you, appreciate sure. it. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. How's it going? Yep. Whew, first yard sale of the day. We actually spent a decent amount of time there. I don't even know what freaking time it is right now. Did not really display my haggling skills. I'll show you guys what I got here at the end. We're going to hit up the next one and not waste any time here. Need some of this here, right here, man. 
I ended up, uh, I got three different lures. They're kind of cool, like vintage -y lures that we're gonna try to catch some fish on. But yeah, I got three different lures. He said six bucks. I, I just gave him 10. He's like a super nice dude. He's telling me stories and information. Did I just like reverse haggle? $11. That guy, dude. So that's literally pretty much like a entire fishing yard sale. All right, the next one's 20 minutes away. I gotta get better at this. What am I doing, man? Way too much time spent there. And I reverse haggled myself. Well, I guess, I mean, I guess you could say it's like a tip. So we now have $11. And a dream. We're about to pull up on this next spot right here. Let's buy some cornfields in again. Getting strapped up here. This was supposed to be a community yard sale. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's get over there. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if they have any good fishing steals. Any deals. Shimano Stella for like $11. Skirt. Oh, there's like a little pond back here. To be honest, I don't, I don't know if there's any fishing stuff or not. Freaking toasty day though. It's only like 9 a.m. All right, what have we got here? Baseball stuff. Ooh, Frisbee. Tools, baby stuff. Hmm. Can I catch fish with any of this? Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. It's in it, Chief. Let me take a look at this body of water. Looks like it's super dried out, kind of low. I don't think there's any fish in there. Okay, no joke. I just passed this thing like three times. I have no clue. Like, where do you park? All right, yeah, no, that one looked cheeks. There's like nowhere to park. All right, so I just drove out here to this neighborhood. It's supposed to, um, there's supposed to be yard sales here, I think. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, there's a giant boat there for sale. But yeah, getting stuff like this from yard sales, especially vintage stuff, I just feel like, I don't know, low, low key, there's always that percentage of chance that is cursed. Might sound crazy, but dude, I remember back in the day, I saw this movie where this girl bought this box. She got it from a yard sale. That thing like destroyed everything. It turned her into a demon. Okay, I don't see. I just drove 20 minutes out here the opposite way of where I was going. I, did, I, I don't, what, am I missing something? giant neighborhood all right well, i'm gonna look around and do my best to see if we can find any more yard sales here in the area it's getting a little later though it's not prime yard sale time exactly anymore i don't know we'll do a little looking around there it is a chick-fil-a like right near here though so it's still breakfast yeah thank you my yes let's go dude still breakfast time buzzer beater i still don't know i feel like it's like the nice thing to do to wear like a mask even in like drive throughs and stuff i don't know is that like customary this day and age let me know in the comments below man thank you my you too Ah! All right, so I decided to be kind of smart about this here today. It was like so freaking hot out. I'm talking real feel over 100 straight scorcher. I went in and did some editing for a while. By the way, yes, that's my apple. I honestly feel like I should be sponsored by Chick-fil-A, man. If you guys saw earlier, I was eating the chicken minis. No joke, them things hit different in the morning. Definitely let me know how you guys think we did for first time yard selling in like years. Let me actually show you guys what we got here. That'll probably help. Shout out to that guy again, man. I don't know if he does that like every weekend or something, but he has like so much fishing stuff. Okay, first thing we got here, man. Take a look at this giant freaking jitterbug can you see that now i've used jitterbugs before for those of you who do not know this is a top water lure i've used like smaller bass ones of these probably like half or even a third of the size i don't know if you could really tell the true like this thing is freaking giant man this is a honker of a jitterbug this thing is super old too as well it has a bunch of freaking treble hooks and yeah i just thought this thing was so sick man we're gonna be taking this out to the water and hopefully I, I, I don't know. If we catch a fish on this, it's probably going to be a big freaking fish, man. Next up here out of the bag, this is a man's... I, I, I really don't know what the heck this thing is actually called. It's kind of like a little thingy on the end. I think what he said is it's kind of like a walking lure. So, I don't know. It's got a little lip at the end right there. I just thought it was so weird. Like, this literally looks like somebody took maybe like a pen and just made it into a fishing lure. Lastly, from yard sale this is what we got and we did end up going to like a bunch of yard sales but a lot of them were just not you know fishing stuff and i guess that's to be expected so this is like in a super old case container thingy right there this is a rabble rouser now i've heard of these things before i have never used one before he said this is like 40 years old or i guess he got it 40 years ago i don't remember the story he was telling me but look how interesting that looks man i think the coolest part about it to me are these giant freaking googly eyes man i don't know we're gonna toss this thing around hopefully um one of these things can get bit but yeah just like this super old packaging right here i'd be super interested to see how much these go for now probably not too much but it looks like at the time 
dude bought it for two dollars and seventy cents. So yeah, we got three different lures. We have an apple. We got a dream. We're gonna drive a little bit downstate to a pond that I have not been to in a long, long time. So yeah, we're about to get out of here, head over to the water. Now the reel that I was giving to you guys on Instagram that is now over. Thank you to everybody who did enter. As I keep saying though, I just want to keep giving back to you guys as much as possible. We're gonna be giving a couple of these to you guys, man. If you guys remember a couple videos ago, I actually bought this when we were in Florida. I really, really like this lure. None of this stuff in this whole video is sponsored, by the way. Hopefully Chick Fil A sees this though. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen this video, I'll leave the link down in the description below. That was a really fun video, and I just really like, I really, really like this thing. So I want to send it to a couple of you guys. All you have to do to enter to win this, go down there, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notification button. Smack this video with the thumbs up, and if you'd like to, you can go down there, leave a comment. But yeah, man, I want to share the love. But uh, yeah, let's go try to catch some bigots, man. All right, so for those of you who have been wondering, remember those videos I was doing of the pond that was drying up? This thing is like, just kind of refilling. Definitely like still nowhere near as much water as it originally had. These are some interesting looking ferns. I'm gonna rest. All right, we got a frog tied on this ride. Let me just throw this one time. I don't really want a frog here today, but you know. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, it is still toasty out here. I mean, the sun's setting probably in like two hours and it is still like so hot. All right, what should we throw on here? As much as I want to throw on the giant jitterbug to start, I think we're going to use this little dude right here. Again, I literally have no clue what this is even called. If you know, please leave it down in the comments below. I believe this is a topwater bait. That's what kind of the guy was saying, sort of. Clip this frog off. It's nice he gave us like paper bags too so that the hooks didn't stab me. It's just like very interesting to think about. Like, when was the last time this lure you know, it was tied on or thrown. Or, you know, has it even ever caught fish? Watch this have caught like freaking state record or something. So mission today, do not lose lures and uh, let's try to catch some fish. I've not been to this pond in a long, long time. All right, let's see what this thing does. Oh, what the heck kind of... Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is beautiful. It's like subsurface if you just straight retrieve it, like barely, but it has a super nice wiggle to it. Huh. Again, I don't know if these lures are still like made or you know, even if this company's still in business. I like this thing though, dude. Oh my gosh, that looks so freaking good, man. It's like a little snake wiggling subsurface. stick to this bank line super like hot out though so i don't know these fish might be a lot more lethargic than usual so maybe uh i don't know maybe before oh god dude that was crazy he freaking smoked it okay maybe we don't need to be more calm okay let's just get this dude up first that dude smacked it. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, that is a good feeling, man. Yard sale fishing lure. I'm sure that dude that sold me this lure would be very proud right now. Oh my God. That fish is so warm. Dude, barely, barely. <laughs> One little treble. We're going to be super safe. I don't know how rusty that thing is. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice hit, man. Oh gosh. I'm tripping over my own rod. All right. First fish of the day. Dude, he hit a lot harder than he looks like he did. That is for darn sure. All right, thank you so much, buddy. You have given me hope. Boom. This is so sick, man. Garage sale fishing lures. You think we could catch one on each of the lures? Is that straight retrieving it? I was kind of doing like a jerk jerk pause sort of thing, and then I was just straight retrieving it. I don't know, man. This thing has some crazy action, though. Glad my senses told me to pick this out of the box. Who the heck is texting me? Definitely let me know, though, man what you guys saw that you know when i was going through those boxes or those rod reels you know what you would have picked up very curious to see if i you know missed anything really really good i probably did man he said there were some super super rare lures especially the one that he said that he saw made that his whole family made or whatever i don't know i think that was like his last one so i didn't want to take that maybe he wanted me to take that i don't freaking know man is that a fish 
Is that a fish? Bro, I thought that was a freaking tank, dude. He was like holding me down. Yes, sir. All right, always got to catch one of these. Second species of the day. It's a lively one too, man. Nice, thick. Just let him go. Definitely not my biggest, I'll tell you that. We're gonna give a few more casts here with this thing, just on this side. I think uh, the real move is going to be that way. Sun is setting over that way and the trees are just creating so much shade. And that I think is where, you know, these fish are gonna be active and also, you know, hopefully hitting the top water. It's kind of deeper over there too and there's like a, more, a lot of more structure in the water and stuff, so. I'm gonna give a few more casts over here though. Holy yep. Ooh, all right, fun fact, right, like right around here actually, that is where I caught a fish on that topwater snake lure. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave that down in the description below. That snake lure is freaking crazy, dude. All right, we just gotta make it through Jurassic Park back here. Oh, wow, I couldn't see that from the other side. There's like gunk sorta ish on the top of the water over here. Not like gunky gunk, but like a, I guess you could say like a layer of film sorta of thing. That might actually be pretty good for us. I don't think that'll get stuck in the hooks. Oh, yep. Oh, I'm kind of sinking in that. There's a random diaper sitting there. Let's check. Oh yeah, no. The whole other side is still dried out. I'll tell you what, man. Sometimes when you're waiting and you see that bubble, that can mean trouble. All right. We got the chair here. Shout out to the chair gods. We're gonna put those there. Ooh, all right. Did we do it? I think we gotta do it, right? Giant jitterbug. I just, I, I don't know. We gotta see what it looks like, right? It's funny, because when I was talking to that dude about this jitterbug, he was mentioning, you know, bigger species like musky. People throw giant lures for musky. Striped bass, which, you know, also involves larger style lures. Nothing was said though about the good old largy. This is like, I hope you guys can tell how ridiculous this thing is. Let's give it a little cast here. Oh my God, dude. I mean, it wobbles like a freaking dream. Giant wobble though. Can I see a bass hitting this? I don't know. Maybe if I was in Florida. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Oh, there's a bunch of baby toads. I mean, look at this, man. Sun setting, shaded area, giant lure. I mean, to be honest, this is almost the equivalent of that giant bat lure that I tried to use that one time. Unfortunately, maybe we'll put it on a little bit later as the sun sets even more. This thing did not even get, like nothing even looked at that. We're gonna go on to this dude right here. This water's pretty staying too, so I guess I'm just gonna keep tying straight braid. But uh, I, I don't really know how to work this. I, is it just like a normal lipless? Oh yeah, all right, so it's just a, pretty much lipless. I guess that just kind of, like the water hits that and kind of keeps it nose down a little bit more. Let's see what we can do, man. Oh, I literally did not even see that. Somebody else is over there fishing. Come on, Robble Rouser. If nothing happens, man, we're just gonna send it. I'm gonna try to catch as many bass as I can. As I was saying that. On the freaking Robble Rouser, dude. 40 years ago, this guy from the yard sale earlier today got this lure. Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh no, no. That counts. That doesn't count. Does that count? Dang it, dude. I mean, it was so small. What the freaking Robble Rouser, dude? Ah, all right. I'll give a few more casts here. So you what though, we need like that dude's great granddad. We're gonna be switching it up just a little bit here. I kind of, you just gotta make it a little slower, you know? There's one, there's one. Come here, boy. Woo. All right. <laughs> I've been chucking this thing chill, bud. I've been chucking this thing around for a little while now. All right, GoPro just died. I gotta change the battery, but it's a nice little dude right there. Thank you, buddy. 
I had a lot of fun doing this. So as I said, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see more videos like this. I just got done editing most of the video right now. I'm daydreaming about some chicken minis. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. I just wanted to bring up something super quick. I know my videos have been a lot longer, like the past couple months. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that or if you like when I put like cooler angles and edits and more like edity stuff, if that makes any sense, into the videos. Because these videos are pretty long and because I try to put them out pretty frequent, you know, I just can't put as much editing into them as I would like. It really depends. I mean, sometimes I'm still able to. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm curious to see kind of what you guys have to say, though. But yeah, 400K is on the way. It is. Like, it just does not feel real. All I got to say, though, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. From the bottom of my heart, it does mean the world. All I really got to say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just well.